Today we will go over how to create a template in IBM BPM 8.6 from any of the HTML templates which are available. So what you are looking at is a converted template which has features like expand and collapse of the left menu which leads to responsive behavior as well as drop down for profiles, settings menu. The left hand navigation area has expand and collapse features wherein multiple layers of navigation items can be presented. Each navigation link on the left hand side links to a stack control where you can lay out your elements and design your application components. So let's take a look at what was the base product from which it has been built. The base product is called admin LTE, which is an open source HTML template. As you can see, this is the admin LT template from which we have derived our template, IBM BPM template. So in today's session, we'll go over how to create IBM BPM template from any given HTML template. This template has skin features as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, it can give you dynamic behavior to your process applications. As you can see, you can switch the themes here. So what we are interested in is the left hand side navigation menu. The top bar and this particular area which is the content area this will be the process applications content area so we need not replicate that but from the html we'll pick up components for the top bar the navigation elements settings and elements like that so you can download a zip file of the entire template html template So we have downloaded it and extracted it to this location. So if you take a look at the HTML, it has various areas inside it. And this will be done in three or four steps. It's a three or four step process. First, we transfer the HTML, except for the content area, which we showed earlier. We do not need this content area, but we do need the left hand side navigation menu and the top navigation bar for our application. So we will pick up that particular HTML snippets out of the HTML template and transfer them over to our process application. So as I said earlier, it's a multi-step process. The first step is transferring just the HTML. So during development, we have taken versions of the various intermediate steps. The first step is when the HTML is transferred over. So if we play it, we can see that this doesn't look nice because the style sheets and the JavaScript elements are not there. But this is the basic idea. Uh, the basic beginning of the template where we have transferred the HTMLs to our template. So we have the main content area where our application content and widgets and controls will be placed and the upper HTML before that and then the HTML after that. So the next step is 
adding the style sheets to this template. So if we take a look at the template behind this coach, we have added in the behavior section, we have added the style sheets. So the style sheets are part of, uh, if you take a look at the source code, there are folders of packet components wherein the style sheets have been uh, taken from. So what we need to do is create zip files of those folder. For example, bootstrap.zip is one zip file and we are picking up bootstrap.min.css from it. This needs to be done because the CSS has dependent components inside that folder. And once you pick up the main CSS, the dependent folders will automatically get linked if you use the zip file approach. So let's take a look at uh, the rendering once the CSS so uh, I'll go back to the HTML source again. The CSS is generally located at the top. So all these are our CSSs which we need to include in our application. This is the second step where the CSS have been included. As you can see, the rendering is happening and all the styles have been applied to our HTML previously brought in. But none of the JavaScript or the expand collapse of the navigation is working because we do not have the JavaScript yet. And neither is the expand collapse of the main bar and the mini bar is happening. But the content area is well defined and available through the content box. Next step similar to the CSS inclusion is the JavaScript inclusion. JavaScript also needs to be included in the same way from a zip file so that the dependencies of the template get linked up. So as you can see, beside the CSS now we have the JavaScript also. One key thing to keep in mind while including CSS is that you have to select the script tag in HTML way of inclusion. The AMD module way of inclusion will not work for this approach. So keep this in mind and for all your JavaScript, use the script tag in HTML inclusion method. Now let's take a look at how the rendering happens once the JavaScript has been included. Now, as you can see, all the functionality, navigation, expand collapse of the main bar, uh, the expand collapse of the navigation menus is working because we have included the required JavaScript files as well as the style application, the skin application is working. So let's choose so there are 12 skins included with this template, which makes it a very powerful IBM BPM template. If the user have the ability to change the skins dynamically at runtime and also to in a configurable manner at design time. Okay, so we have the basic skeleton of our IBM BPM template available here, but it is, it is ideal elements like I'll be highlighting the elements. So the application title, if it's configurable, it's desirable to have it configura con configurable, as well as the left menu, uh, it uh, we will convert it to a variable based menu so that at design time, users can change the menus 
how this works is this leverages is a stack control of IBM BPM UI toolkit. The stack control is very similar to the tab control, only difference is does not have the headers of the tab. So for this kind of dashboard application, we can link each of the menu items on the left to one panel in the stack control. Now we need to one by one transfer all the pieces to configuration elements. First one we need to do is the hide application title, then the navigation menu, as well as the right side settings. So all of these we will convert into configurable elements of the template. Now moving over to the final product. It is ideal to uh, place the template files in a toolkit so that it's reusable and can be reused by multiple different applications. So we'll take a look at how it renders as the final product where all elements have been made configurable in the template and they are coming from configuration properties. So first feature is expand collapse of the main bar into mini bar, which is required for responsive applications. The left menu items are all driven from a variable which can be defined and connected to the template as well as the icons and the new indicator these are all configurable through a variable now we have multi-level menu bar on the left hand side where three level deep navigation elements can be placed the search box has been connected to a boundary event so that you can connect your search implementation to it The profile is available as a drop down. The settings are also available where you, you can change the skin of the application. User can change it as well as we have made it configurable through template configurations. So let's take a look at the design time appearance of the template. So to make the design time a Visivig appearance of the actual template, you have to specify a HTML file as well as a JS snippet file in the overview of the template in the advanced preview area. It's pretty simple to do. Whatever HTML you have used to design the template, same can be laid out in the HTML snippet file. Only thing you have to keep in mind is wherever you have a content box, you have to put in the appropriate tag for the content box. Since the styles are attached, we will get a preview of the HTML in the design time. And this is a content box and this area is a content box. So they'll be automatically displayed as per the HTML snippet file. So let's take a look at the configuration elements of the template. So we have a variable which holds the menu items on the left hand side. We have the selected tab index which governs which tab is active in the stack control so that once a user chooses a left menu item, the stack switches to that particular item. We have the application title, we have the application version, copyright text, main content box footer and title can be configured. We can connect it to a search string, the search box, as well as the application mini title. And we have also configured the skin. Thus, there are 12 skins available and if you specify design time, the initial rendering will be for that skin. So this is how basically it's an overview, it's not in deep 
details but this is a basic idea of how a template can be built from a HTML template like this one and we can use it as a template for IBM BPM process applications as well as a framework for navigation and get a design time preview. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this session. Thank you.